going Hi. on? What's going on? We're putting the tent away. Why is that? Because it's ready. We are under a wind advisory. Tom went and woke the kids up. They slept out there for the how many nights? Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, so Monday night. Three nights. <laughs> so Tom woke him up at about 6.30, told him to come in because it was supposed to rain, which was gonna be a disaster, but it did not rain. So we're now trying to rush and put the tent down in the wind advisory before the rain starts, which we just got a rain alert. And we are potentially having severe weather today, this afternoon. So um, I was really like, you gotta come and take this tent down because it's possible it will tear or, I mean, tearing would be probably worst case scenario, but I also have visions of the tent just leaving the farm entirely in a wind gust. And so, um, <laughs> I'm glad that we're taking it down, although it's pretty funny to take it down in the storm. Huskalera! All the dogs, Lucy, Scarlett, and Ruger, spent the night with the kids in the tent. Um, not Copper, of course, he was inside, but it was quite windy through the night. How's it going? Oh, Living Scarlet. the dad dream. Scarlett, I'm gonna kick you. Don't be kicked. Our beautiful back porch, forever in progress, our house. Oh. 6.30 came very early because we had friends over last night for dinner and we stayed up until 1.30 in the morning talking because we think we're 20. I don't know. <laughs> very tired, lots of coffee. Just got our weather radio out. It's usually in the drawer unless we know there's gonna be a weather alert, but I just put it out on the counter. Living in Tennessee, just never know. It becomes a flashlight. It's like pretty handy little tool, but man, in the middle of the night when this bad boy goes off, it is something else, cause it makes sure you are alerted. And it unfortunately alerts you to absolutely everything like a severe thunderstorm, like rain is coming into the next county, like it'll make sure you're aware of every single thing the weather is doing. But I'd rather be over aware than under aware. Doing better than expected. Uh, all the leaves are gonna blow off. This is what causes fall to come to an abrupt halt around here is the storms. Although we always have our pecan tree still yet to turn, <laughs> holding on to its leaves. The walnuts almost all gone. Hilarious. And we're kind of hoping that the storm blows down more of this tree because this is the tree that was so damaged in the last storm and there's still a ton of branches that are broken off, but like, it's gonna be real precarious to climb up there and chainsaw them down. So we're like, it wouldn't be the worst thing if the wind broke it even further and pushed the tree down even more. But sadly, it's our first treehouse tree. So that's currently condemned. Good job, team. Make sure you bring my vacuum in. Californians gonna lose their mind seeing a fire in a windstorm. Wind advisory. What are we doing? Roasting hot dogs. Roasting hot dogs. Why are we doing that? Blue, what are you doing? I am got stick. Why are you doing that? So that it's sharp and the spark stuff won't get on my hot dog. Why are you doing that? At mm -hmm. 10 in the morning? That's just leave it. The cat's got it. Give it to a cat. Okay, what are you doing at 10 in the morning? Um, and then go wash your hands. The only thing I have left to do is um, to do what? To do American Heritage uh, badge. I'm trying to 
trying to get my camping badge and I slept in the in a tent for like four or five days, four days. And American um, Heritage Girls is like the Christian version of Girl Scouts. Yeah. And yeah. the boys are in Trail Life, which is the Christian version of Boy Scouts. And they're connected. So you are working on your camping badge and you have to cook over an open fire. Yep. At 10 in the morning. Yep. Hot dogs on a stick. Yep. Get that badge, Get girl. Get that badge. How's it going? That's because you have one burnt spot. Let me see. Let me see. It's still a little bit cold down here, so. But you're getting real close, dude. Maybe a minute or two more. There you go. <coughs> I'm glad y'all picked a good day. A little fire. Copper. He says, I want to roast one. Caps on pops. Got to show y'all this tree. I think Tom already did, but it's just really. The damage from the last storm. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What a mangled mess. Ugh. Look at that. Can you believe like literally a few strong gusts of wind? And there's a tr that's why the tree has to come down. It's like split really far. That's our tree house, so sad. It's just really, really compromised. Maybe this storm will do it. Take it the rest of the way. It's such a staple in this backyard. Ugh. It's so sad. Oh, did you find the chickens? Oh, hi chickens. <coughs> what are you doing, Copper? You finding exploring your farm? What's going on here? Doing some school. Are we under our first vlog tornado watch? We went to bed very late and got up super early. That's not possible. You had how many hot dogs? over the fire Four. and how many waffles None. you didn't have any waffles you guys did go on a little bender there hot dog bender well we're just trying to plow through school mom is feeling wildly detoxy today like uh detoxy from my remedies from my naturopath <laughs> So the weather and the tornado watch could be exciting, huh, Merritt? This is way better. You gonna do your work over there? Yeah. It's the beauty of school. Can you bring it to me? Oh, sure, Cadence, totally. Yeah. 